This is Jim Maceda in Turkey near the Syrian border. Thousands of miles from the political showdown in Washington, Syria's civil war rages on. This Damascus suburb, just the latest target of President Assad's firepower. The war has claimed at least 110,000 lives so far, displaced some 7 million people, a third of Syria's population. Today, more families escape to Turkey, fearful and angry at the U.S. and its allies. We wish that the international powers had toppled the government, said Mahmoud, but after more than two years, it's too late now. Assad himself, hoping to take advantage of President Obama's hesitation, today told French daily Le Figaro that a U.S. airstrike could trigger a conflagration in the Middle East. No one knows what will happen, he said. Everyone will lose control of the situation once the powder keg explodes. He denied his forces used chemical weapons, challenging the U.S. and France to offer proof. First Secretary of State Kerry says there is such proof. And hair samples and blood samples have tested positive for signatures of sarin. Assad said his own forces were the victims and blamed the rebels for the chemical attack, a claim few find credible. We see quite clearly from the intelligence, the satellite information, the human intelligence, and the positive testing, the chemical weapons were used, and almost certainly by the Syrian regime. But Assad continues to have a friend in Moscow, Russian President Vladimir Putin, who's called airstrikes against Syria foolish nonsense and successfully blocked any action by the U.N. Today, Putin even offered to send Russian lawmakers to the U.S. to lobby members of Congress against authorizing any military action against Syria. And Natalie, to pick up on what mixed reporting, we are hearing from Syrian citizens and experts alike that Assad is using this delay to move artillery and rockets into residential areas, even into houses and schools, and is clearing out sensitive equipment and documents from command and control centers, even as Washington debates what to do next.